Sophomore from Ocala, Florida will hand off to Reed. And Reed will play, break to the left side, has plenty of space and a big gain on averages 5.9 yards per carry. He'll get another opportunity here and another big hole. Desmond Reed, back to back first and one by Lee. Another quick snap. This is Reed up the middle and he'll pick up three. And that might be the first with bottom of your screen. Handoff is to Reed and he'll have enough for the first down as he picks up about four, the player of the week. And hands off to Reed, up the middle, fights for more yardage, and he's in, touched it. And Hassan Black, or pardon me, Jamazin Roberts. Back. Extra point is up, and it is good. From Decatur, Georgia, who missed eight games last year due to injury, back this season. And it'll be first down. Eastern Carolina wasn't expecting to see the wishbone. They weren't expecting to see a halfback pass. But they are deep into the bag here on to a counter run by Wallace. He bent it back to the left. I think that play was designed to go right. Samari Dukes, the safety, had outside left. Richard, left guard Sawyer Whitman. They got enough movement up front against the big defensive interior of Western Carolina. Enough room to build your dream today. Catamounts. Sorry, Dave, they'll slow it down a little bit. Kerwin Bell talked about that with a young quarterback in Gonzalez. They're going slower than they might prefer. Did a pretty good job of sticking with the initial reads, but Gonzalez started to get happy feet a little bit, but didn't give up. And man, look at the pocket again, Dave. He Couple of Bulldogs there, fired up Kale Williams. And it'll be second and goal. And that's a safe word, Dave. It was a, a read option. And I think if Gonzalez handed it off, Reed was going to score. If Gonzalez kept it, I think he would have scored untouched. His Maybe a blindside block at the end of the run. 15. 15 yard penalty from the spot. A chance to track down Landon Owens and was probably going to win the foot race. And watch here, coming back, keep possession with a kick. And he said, not necessarily. I'm talking a punt. A punt is not a bad thing. It means you didn't turn it over, try and drive to score on you. Give to Cooper Wallace. To his left, Cooper Wallace will break. He already crossed the goal line because second if the ball. Bulldogs will go for it here. Wallace behind Underwood, four receivers. Penalty is declined. First down. I think they called it on 28. I think that was 27, Cooper Wallace. They motioned him from behind. Harry early on in the game for Western Carolina. That's too many. And Des Reed in the backfield now for the Catamounts, replacing Branson Adams. It'll be Reed up the middle. After rushing for 170 and a touchdown versus Samford, in line for another award this week. His size, 5'8", 170. That's why they got him, but he's so dynamic with his ability to run the football. He really sets the table for them. And the give up the middle is to Crawford. Pick up about five on first. Ball is today, but you got to like what the Citadel offense is doing so far. Underwood looks to his right and completes. Cherry goes in motion. High snap. It's handled by Underwood. And the give up the middle. Crawford bounces forward, picks up seven. As they're being able to move the ball more successfully. A third down has been an Achilles heel for us on both sides of the ball. An emphasis in practice. Trading defensively. They had two players bracketing Reed. It should have been a four or five yard gain. Somehow he evades both. And it's first. Half awards and leadership assistance. The Southern Conference, building champions on the app. Wanted football 24 7. Cade was like, hey, give me a break sometimes. Now that Kerwin said I'm a little bit older, Cade is Mr. Carolina back five yards. So it's easier to coach with him than it was for him to play for. And we asked Coach Covington, the offensive coordinator, about. Grayson Underwood's development. He said, hey, this guy's a tank. He's awesome. It was two blockers on one and watch Devontre Hampton, the corner, just discard two blockers and make the tackle. Again, that should down. And that's going to be holding on the receiver, Tamarez, who was trying to help Bellinger get the edge. And he... Back to the 13-yard line. And that play, but he's got to be ecstatic with the way the first half has gone. As Catamounts lead 35 to 7. It's out of hand, but right now it's going to be Underwood's show. 
Second and ten for Underwood. Cooper Wallace beside. Seventy-seven points in a victory over Charleston Southern. Seventy-seven twenty-one the final as the Catamounts continue to roll through the early part. Uh, Mercer, ETSU, Sanford, the Citadel, and Wofford have now all been in action in conference play on the line out gaining the Citadel 324 to 99. And that may not have been something that's Carolina dominating on the ground, and they've outgained the Citadel on the that billing. It's, his play really, Jason, it's taken the pressure off. And he ran for well over the century mark last year, 131 yards. Today now at 35. Straight handoffs to the tight end. Last year, tight end Ben Brockington is now back. I know that Western Carolina certainly prides themselves on running to the football and getting there in droves. And Chas Scales, something extracurricular behind the play, the flag down at the 20. That left Wallace wide open, and now <laughs> one player is giving the Western Carolina a signal that the penalty. South Carolina State, that combination strikes once again, this time against Western Carolina. Down right around where Paligi threw the, the little hook pass out to the running back, bringing the athletic trainers onto the field, and we could move on to the fourth quarter here, but it, I think that's not going to be a serious. And welcome back, start of the fourth quarter. Some tough games, and he has that kind of makeup where he can throw a couple of bad balls and then come back and hit you with a touchdown throw. This time he hits. King on what you want to do to get better. Sincerely makes a nice move to get around Melvin Ravenel. Gonzalez on the keeper, and he's tripped up. For a thousand yards, 10 TDs, just two picks. Almost a pick there. there. Up the middle. And that's Adam. Adams continues the run. He's made the right read on every play. Gonzalez. Balls tipped and into the arms of Colum. May have been a, a poor read. That was one of And the extra point is up and good. Fourth. Conway in motion. Give up the middle. Second and seven. Cooper Wallace breaks one tackle. Gets upended. So the Citadel will be without their left tackle the remainder of the day. They'll find a replacement from Maui. The extra point. He is good to go. He was banged up. And number 98, Jay Smith on the D-line. He has returned after being shaken up. Back to you. Plenty of depth and talent on this Catamounts offensive three for 108 last week against CSU. Paligi, take the easy completion to his back, Adam. Just gets you ejected, which we've seen already today. Paligi, once again, looks to Washington. He dropped it perfectly in the bucket and almost hit Tamarez in the scoring strike for Western Carolina. First touchdown for Tamarez, the extra point is up. Stands. You can see why receiving touchdown today, a rushing touchdown that was called back. Play action. Underwood in trouble, and he'll go. All those individuals that you recruited come together as one team. They're doing so for the Catamounts. Pretty darn good on the road. A toss to the back. That's Markel Townsend. Pleggy will hand off to the shifty Townsend. Play action. Pleggy. To his right, continues to roll, slide down in bounds. Pleggy now eight of nine. He'll hand it off. It's given way to Pleggy. Third down, and that throw. Johnson. In terms of the schedule for the Bulldogs. Underwood completes to Conway. It's a first down for the Bulldogs. Johnson behind Underwood. It is Hayden Johnson taking down on the Bulldogs. The give is to Johnson. Gang tackle. Remain undefeated against FCS opponents since last October.